just arrived in Prague. We just checked into our hotel. It's four degrees outside. That's why I'm wearing all these layers. I feel very hot now that I'm inside. It's 9 p.m. So we're gonna try and find something to eat outside. I'm not really sure where we're going to go yet, but we'll just quickly grab a bite. And I think after that, we are gonna sleep because we are so, so tired. It is a Wednesday night. After all, we came straight from work. But I cannot believe that I'm in Prague. Prague has been on my bucket list for so long. I think I'm gonna love it here. I'm, I'm already in love with it, even just from having been here for like less than an hour. Okay, I will see you tomorrow, I guess. Day one of Prague and we have woken up to blue skies. I think today is our only full sunny day so we're gonna just try to make the most of it. It's so so nice because even in Amsterdam it's been very cold and we had a few sunny days but most of the time the weather has been pretty blah. We're just walking to breakfast now. It's my birthday today <laughs> so I am just in a very good mood. We are going to a place called Globe Bookstore Cafe which is what the name suggests. It's a bookstore and cafe, and hopefully it's gonna be good. market we knew about this before we came here so apparently every Easter they hold a market it's kind of like the Christmas market so there's like food stalls and drink stalls but it's really cool there's like so many different shops we might try and buy something to eat because our dinner reservation is not until 7 45 and it's currently 4 45 beautiful sunny day it's Gustavo are you liking Prague so far very nice. Very nice. Such a nice city. It's so clean. It's so beautiful. I've not seen a single ugly building so far. Let's hopefully find something to eat.
Birthday dinner. <laughs> Look at the size of Gustavo's beer. It's the size of your head. <laughs> So we're at Esca, which is a really cool industrial looking restaurant. They have like an open kitchen downstairs and it seems like they make a lot of their own produce. Reminds me a lot of um, some of the inner west places in Sydney. We ordered the five course chef choice menu. So we don't really know what's going to come out, uh, but I'm very excited. The vibe is nice here. It's really casual. It's really relaxed. And I'm just so grateful. I had the most amazing birthday today in Prague. Love this city. Yeah, I have nothing to say other than I just had a great day. woke up and we're going to breakfast. When we were leaving the hotel, Gustavo goes, are you ready for another day of fun? <laughs> yes, I am ready for another day of fun. Um, yesterday was just like an amazing time in Prague. I can't even imagine us having a better day, to be honest. This time today, we're heading over to the other side. We're gonna cross to Charles Bridge and we're gonna start off with the Prague Castle. But first we need to get coffees and food in our body. Clearly it is like the number one landmark tourist destination in Prague. We just finished at the cathedral, which I highly recommend, but you do need tickets to go inside and explore the rest of the cathedral. And now we're just walking around the castle grounds. afternoon and we're on the Malastrana side of Prague. We're in a place called Kampa Island and we're just walking around. It's kind of a great gloomy day but thankfully there's no rain.
on the train to Chusky Krumlov and we have just found our seats. It's boiling hot on this train. No complaints, I'd rather be hot than cold. It looks like we've got this whole cabin to ourselves for now and hopefully it stays that way. It's a two hour train ride. I think we're gonna be pretty comfy. We've got nice seats and we've got the window seat as well. are in Chesky Krumlov. We're walking in the castle gardens and I think it's pretty cool. This whole place is free so you don't need to pay an entrance fee in order to access it. Today is a bit of a grey gloomy day but there's still plenty of visitors here in the city. This is actually quite quiet so I'm enjoying the peace. We're only here for one day. We are staying here for one night but then we're leaving tomorrow. recommend going to Chesky Krumlov. We stayed the night there and I highly recommend this because when we first arrived it was completely packed with tourists and I have to say that I am also a tourist. I'm kind of contributing to the problem I suppose. I will see you probably at lunch. I think this is just such a perfect trip. It's so 
easy to get to Prague from Amsterdam. It's only an hour and a half by plane. Three days is a perfect amount of time to spend in this beautiful, beautiful city. I really hope with all my heart that I get to come back again one day. For my airport meal, I've decided to have a Vietnamese banh mi. The truth is that we don't really have a lot of very good Vietnamese food in Amsterdam and when I see reasonably good uh, Vietnamese food elsewhere, I'm always keen to try it. So this is my second time having Vietnamese here. I hope you enjoyed coming along this trip with us. I had such a good time and obviously one of the best birthdays ever as well. Feeling very lucky to have spent my birthday in this beautiful city. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.